Hey guys, it's Matt. We just finished our overhead press focus day, which comprised mostly of shoulders, tries, arms, and chest. And we're gonna show you guys what it's all about. This workout is inspired by Matt Ogus. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a little light stretching here, but this week is my seven sets of five reps on overhead press. Now when you're doing the overhead press, you can either do the uh, the type of bar that you see here, or you can do the standard barbell like uh, that you see at a squat rack, or uh, like a bench press barbell, etc. When I first started doing overhead press, I actually had some struggles uh, regarding my back, but there's a trick to it, and that is flexing your stomach during these, and it helps keep your back um, honest and straight. Now on your final sets, you might actually find yourself needing to kind of dip your knees a little bit and assist you in getting those last couple of reps out, and that is uh, okay, I'd say. Can I get your autograph? Huh? Can I get your autograph? And you know, the workout wouldn't be full without a quick muzz. Next, we are doing five sets of 10 from here on out, and we are starting that off with incline dumbbell press. Now, from the nature of 5x10s, you may have to go lighter than you normally do on, say, 3 sets of 10, obviously, because you're pushing 20 more, and that is totally fine. So next up is chest flies. Now these can be done on the machine like this, or they can be done with dumbbells, or they can be done with cables, however you wanna do it. Uh, you know, just get those flies in. Again, this is a five sets of 10. And like I mentioned in the last video, in these five sets of 10, I only try to take a maximum of about a 60 second rest. Uh, if you need to rest longer, that is okay. If you need wanna rest shorter, that is great. Um, obviously, you know, with shorter rest, you're probably going to be lifting lighter than normal. Uh, but, you know, I do like to get in uh, a little sense of cardio, so I try to take shorter rests. Alright, now next is lat raises. I know you're doing five sets of ten, as always past our compound lift basically and I didn't mention in the last video but you can also do these seated uh, as shown in this next clip here Next we're doing five sets of 10 curls. Now I like to do seated curls, just alternating each side. Uh, I think it just feels good to do 20 of something. Now remember that when you're doing these curl workouts, you can actually do any sort of curl workout that you want. For example, you can do a barbell or you can do cable curls, uh, you know, just whatever you prefer in this case. All 
All right, so I didn't actually know this song had singing in it, so I'm just going to cut the singing for a little bit to explain reverse flies. Um, so when you're doing reverse flies, uh, this is my favorite method of doing them out of all the ones that I've tried. And I just set the cables to a little higher than my shoulder length or like a head length. And I kind of just rip them back uh, as shown in this video and obviously the next few clips to follow. And if there's any little extensions on them, I normally just take them off so they're not dangling everywhere. Um, and I just try to keep it to the ball only or maybe just that little chain at the end that might be just attached to it. And this is the last workout of the day. And it is going to be five sets of ten of your favorite tricep workout. So you can do the, the dumbbell thing over the head or skull crushers or try pull downs or try pull downs with the bar or with a V bar or, you know, over the head. Anything you can really think of. Now I wanted to take a, a few seconds to explain to you all how I approach burnout. Um, now at this point of the workout, it's it's pretty intense and we've done a lot. So every time I can't do something, I just kind of drop it down one until I can reach like 10 or 12 reps. And you'll see me drop it down a few times actually during this until I can, you know, get it done. So... Yeah, we just wrapped up and it is about 2.30 a.m. Uh, it's 3 o'clock. We spent about an hour and a half in the gym today. A little longer than normal. Uh, that's because I had to film and do some other stuff. But um, we are finally done and we are spending our last five, like five or so minutes in the sauna. I said I wouldn't bring the camera in last time, but here we are in the sauna. Uh, yeah, so you guys might have seen a lot of similarities between the bench press day and this day, and that's because it was like two weeks ago. So if you're thinking that I did, you know, film this constantly in one week, you're wrong. But what you just saw now is the first day of the week normally, and bench press is like the fourth day of the week. So we will be filming days two, three, five, whatever uh, that may be. But for now, we are going to spend the rest of the time here and head home. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Peace. My eye looks fat. <laughs> <laughs>